Who actually runs the government in your experience? <laughs> Not who you think it is. <laughs> it's um and in and and in many cases especially recently uh, the the troubling part about all this is it's not even people who we vote for. When you look at uh, what happened when President Biden had that infamous debate with President Trump, uh, it it exposed the reality that many of us have known for a long time, which is that President Biden has not been the guy calling the shots. He has not been the guy making the decisions, nor has it been Kamala Harris for that matter, nor will it be if she is elected president. It is this cabal of, you know, the Democrat elite, the the woke warmongers uh, made up of the likes of Hillary Clinton and uh, Barack Obama and, you know, Tony Blinken and Jake Sullivan and, you know, people who are in the military industrial complex, people who profit from us being in a constant state of war. It is uh, those in the administrative state and the national security state who derive more authorities and ability to take away uh, our liberty when we are in a heightened state of crisis or war. It is the the their friends and billionaires and people in media who all derive their power from being able to have a figurehead that essentially they can control. And the most troubling part about there's so many things wrong with this, of course, but really at, at the most fundamental level, you look at, um, you know, our country is the oldest democracy in the world, but the reality of a truly functioning and thriving democracy that has brought to life the vision that our founders had for us, that we really have a government of, by, and for the people, and that we have the ability and responsibility for that matter to ensure that um, the government we have only exists with the consent of the governed, that becomes very hard to do to hold people accountable when the person that you voted for is is certainly not the one making the decisions. How long has that been the case? Was it ever the case that the president ran the country? When was the inflection point? I don't I don't know that there's one specific. I mean, there has been, you know, as personalities come in and shift here and there. Uh, I would say the answer to that has probably changed. But in the election that we are facing here very shortly in the United States, um, it's our opportunity to hit the reset button. And, you know, however... 